today we are going to talk about how to make our own homemade hand sanitizer hand sanitizer as we know helps to sanitize the hands day in and day out in this era of world pandemic where there are viruses viral diseases let alone the um, coronaviruses bacterials and a whole lot of microorganisms that invades in our system now to prepare a simple standard based homemade sanitizer you need to have some simple protocols and these protocols are alcohol or isopropyl alcohol 99% alcohol we have our hydrogen peroxide we also have our glycerol or glycerin then we use water ordinary water we also take into consideration flavonoid to give sweet scented scent now the gristle the main function is to act as an adjuvant it will help to stick the components to the palm unlike adjuvants in agrochemicals so it is serving as such purpose that is why it is greasy and feels strictly very sleepily in the palm so that is the main function of the glacier and we have the hydrogen peroxide we also have the um our flavor also here it will give sweet sense to our simple protocol now the procedure to start with we have the main component we are going to mix everything here in this bottle so first of all we pour in here our 99 percent 300 mils of alcohol pure alcohol 99 percent Now, we have our 99% alcohol in here. So, we add one tablespoon of our hydrogen peroxide. Now, we also add another tablespoon, that is 3% tablespoon of uh, grizzly or grizzly. So, hydrogen peroxide, 3% of hydrogen peroxide with 3% uh, grizzly. I told you earlier that the main function of the grizzly is to make the whole protocol feel strictly in the palm so we have our three percent grocery grocery you can get all those things from the cosmetics those who sell cosmetics you can get grocery from their end and then the hydrogen peroxide from a pharmacy 
all these materials are simple and easy to get. Now, we are also going to add a rose body mist or the sweet scented solution to make the whole thing smell good that one also three percent now this is ordinary water we will add some few quantity but also 30 percent of it to our uh, quantity just to reduce the concentration now what we need to do is to cover our mixture and shake we want to ensure thorough mixture that is why we need to shake the content so we are shaking to ensure uniform mixture of the whole content Let's leave it to set up for a while. So we have our mixture in here. So what the next thing we're supposed to do is to pour it inside this container. So this is a simple homemade sanitizer. Now, our sanitizer is now ready for use. Control germs, viruses, and bacteria in the pack. So, our simple, through our simple protocols, that is the grisling, the hydrogen peroxide, 99% alcohol isopropyl, we've gotten our simple homemade hand sanitizer. Now, before you use it, first of all, so, as you can see, I'm wearing metallic objects of which these viruses can easily invade on it or they can act as a host. Therefore, it is advisable to avoid using such metallic objects in this period so I have removed the ring now it is also removed because the metallic objects we wear, we are wearing can easily be or serve as a host for some of these viruses and bacteria so it is always advisable to put them down in this era of the spread of this coronavirus. Now, before you use your hand sanitizer, first of all, you need to wash your palm with soap and a water. 
as hot already, so this is running water. This is a running water. This is a running water. So, I finished washing the hands. Now, what next? You use your towel to wipe the hands very well. Wiping the hands, then you go back to take your homemade hand sanitizer and splash it in the pan. So simply, we have our homemade hand sanitizer smelling good in the palms smelling good in the palm watch our procedure look at the protocol very well and you can prepare your own homemade hand sanitizer thank you